had a war about nullification. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. There was a war about nullification. Yeah. The Civil War was about nullification. Yeah. And I, I'm not sure I want to go there. Uh, <laughs> If the state doesn't like what the federal government's doing and they believe it's unconstitutional, they can go to a federal court and they can take it up in a federal court. There's a process by which we, that states, can litigate, number one. Number two, there's a process in which states can go to the federal government and, and get through their elected representatives and, and fight back through the congressional process. But for states to be able to basically say, well, we're going to pay attention to these laws and not other laws, prior to the Civil War, the general way that our country was referred to was these United States. After the Civil War, it became the United States. So there was, in fact, a difference of opinion back then that we were just a group of states that were sort of independent, and we weren't really a country other than the standpoint of having sort of this loose association, not the Articles of Confederation, I'm not talking about the Constitution, that at the time of a Constitution, when you were asked what you were, you would say, I was a Pennsylvanian, not an American, because you were, their state was more important to you than your government, than your federal government. Uh, most people don't do that anymore. Because we respect the fact that the federal government is, we are Americans, we are part of a, the United States. And the idea that states can sort of go off and do their own things and ignore what the federal government wants them to do, uh, again, I, I think we've been through that. And I don't think it's a, it's a helpful thing. There is a process by which we work through that is less dramatic and less confrontational. Uh, than, than that, and could, uh, and I, I would believe that that is the better course to take.